Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about July 23rd, League of Legends DFS Slate. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video. Um, I was traveling for work this past week, but I'm finally back and I'm excited to uh, dive into this five game slate, super slate. Um, there are three games in DLPL and two games in Korea. Um, we have some closer matchups today, but I have a I have a pretty good lean on some of those closer matchups, except for one. So yeah, without any further ado, let's dive in. Uh, Team WE versus Invictus Gaming IG. Invictus Gaming is a slight favorite, but as you guys know, these two are the bottom tier, like literally the bottom of the bottom tier teams. The last two teams in the on the LPL summer split standings. So really, it's going to be a toilet bowl game. <laughs> um, but it should be fun to watch. I think they're just going to, you know, try to, I mean, both teams probably think that they can beat each other, at, right? So because they're both really bad. Um, but I do think Invictus Gaming is going to win this game. Um, as you guys know, that Team WE is starting some new players today. Uh, View is starting at jungle, and then CA is starting in the mid lane over Shanks. I actually thought that Shanks was playing really well, and he was, he's was he been the best player for Team WE. Um, and Beishang, who used to start here, now replaced by View. I thought he was, Beishang was okay, but we'll see what View can do here. Um, I don't think this is a significant upgrade. And honestly, it's kind of a, I think it's kind of a bit more of a disruption for that team. And Biu Biu has been really bad too. So given all of that, and I think heal is really bad. And I just don't think heal is in any LPL material uh, quality. I don't think he's quite at that level yet. And Invictus Gaming is starting the same five. Um, I know Mole started the last series and he's been starting here and there over uh, Yukai. And I, I think Mole is fine. I, I prefer Yukai better um, for a team like this that's at the bottom of the standings, um, developing a young guy like Yukai. But, you know, coaches made the decision to start Mole now. Um, but I do prefer these top three here, um, Zika, June, and Mole, over Biu, 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 and G C A C A. Um, I do think IG has advantage in all of those three lanes, respectively. Um, so I do think IG should dominate that top half of the map. Um, and I do, do think June is like one of the best junglers in the LPL. So I do think he will exert dominance over view here today. And then in the bottom lane is a little, what I'm a little, a little worried about for IG. On and Wink have been probably the worst duo in the LPL. Even over Shing and Heal, I think On and Wink have been even worse. So I'm a little worried that On and Wink could just be really bad in the laning phase and just let Shing and Heal snowball from there. But I just don't think that's not, I don't, I just don't think that's going to happen because I, I just think Shing and Heal are not as good as I just don't think they're just good enough to take advantage of the situation. Um, I do think On and Wink will try to play a little bit on the safer side, knowing that they have a, they actually have a pretty good shot at beating their opponent today. Um, I do think that's gonna happen today, and I, like I said, I'm not that scared of Shing and Heal today. So I do think IG should win here today. Um, I'm gonna predict two to one um, for in favor of IG, and I. If I were to choose some players to target for IG, yeah, I mean, it has to be the top three, I think. Um, June, Mole, and Zika. Probably June, Zika, and Mole. I think Mole could get subbed out for Yukai. There's a potential there. But then On is obviously being an AD carry. He could go off as well. So. And the second matchup of the LPL is JDG and BLG. Um, BLG has been a little slightly better now that Khan has been starting consistently in the jungle position over Weiwei. Um, and then Icon and Rise. I'm not, I mean, I'm not huge fans of those two players, but I do think they have looked better with those three guys in the middle, Khan, Icon, and Rise. 
Um, but I just don't think that's going to be enough. Sorry about that. My son came in. So, um, but yeah, to continue my analysis, yeah, I do think BLG has looked better, but JDG, knowing that they have to win this, win matchups like this to kind of stay in top three, top four um, to make the playoffs, um, they're going to show up, I think. And I mean, even with Khan, Icon, and Rise, I'm going to have to give an edge to Kanavi, Yagao, and Hope. And 369 has been playing lights out the last couple games, <laughs> uh, to my surprise. Um, so I do think JDG should win here pretty handedly. I think they're going to win two to zero. But then JDG has a history of dropping a game in the series <laughs> pretty often. So two to one, two to zero. We'll see. But, you know, as JDG has a very high kill upside, um, they tend to play really fast. They actually play the fastest at the fastest pace um, in the LPL. Um, so I do think JDG's has a really good kill upside here today. And that probably makes JDG as one of my favorite stacks to target today. Third matchup in the LPL is the, I mean, it's going to be a marquee matchup here between RNG and EDG. Um, EDG just hasn't been playing as well as they, you know, had before in previous years or previous splits. And then same for RNG. I mean, RNG has been playing a little bit better lately, um, but still, I think they've been struggling a bit. Um, so I do think these are good teams, but not elite teams like V5, TES, or JDG, in my opinion. Um, but I do think it's a pretty good marquee matchup. I think um, it's more of a coin flip for me. So like for those two matchups that I already talked about, I have a you know pretty good lean as to what's going to happen. But when I took a look at the RNG EVG matchup, I just could not come to a final conclusion. If I have to predict, you know, if you put a gun to my head, I, I would say RNG is going to win two to one, um, only because Gala and Ming have been really, really good bottom lane, especially Ming has been really lights out. Um, and I do think Viper has been playing well for EDG, probably the most consistent player on that team for EDG. But Mako has not been playing well. So I just feel like EDG puts a lot of resources into the bottom lane and RNG puts a lot of resources into the bottom lane. Um, I like I like Gala and Ming better than Viper and Mako, you know, in current form. And also Junjia is not starting for EDG um, this series. JJ is coming back in. Junjia looked really good. I think Junjia actually made a lot more aggressive plays that JJ probably would not have made in that series last last series um but for some reason after Junja dominated that series jj is coming back in here uh, maybe for experience going up against the experienced rng team i don't know but i just don't like that um, i think that's gonna disrupt the team um i think Wei and xiao who have been okay they're they've been serviceable i think Wei has been better than jj um and then Flandre probably has been better than Breeze. Um, but so overall, I think RNG has a slight advantage. And that's why I'm picking RNG to win two to one. In the LCK, it's a lot more simple. T1 should win probably two to zero. I think T1 needs to win two to zero the rest of the, rest of the split to be able to claim that number one seed over Gen G. Um, so I do think T1 is going to focus here quite a bit and beat uh, Fred Brian unless they want to experiment here and there, but I think T1 should win here nonetheless, um, the series. And then KT and Nongshim, uh, Red Force. Um, Nongshim's roster is pretty good, except they just have not met their expectations this summer split. Everyone kept thinking, oh, this is going to be the week. They're due, right? They're due for a win. They're due for a bounce back, but just hasn't happened. So, and then KT, you know, has been lights out, especially putting resources into the bottom lane and aiming. Aiming has been really, really good. Um, and I just feel like that's going to be the difference maker over Ghost um, for Nongshim, who has been really struggling really badly. Um, that bottom lane has for Nongshim has been really bad, and that's been costing that team a, a game and been a, been a very big liability. And I just feel like that's a bad matchup against the bottom heavy 
who's been playing really well in aiming I like KT to win this matchup uh, two to one here for KT. Um, in terms of the kill upside, yeah, I mean, I just feel like this is probably going to be how it's um, like one number one kill pace matchup is the IG versus WE, JDG versus BLG, RNG versus EDG, and then probably KT versus Nongshim, and then T1 versus Fred and Breon. That's my rankings for kill upside. Um, and then I'll be uploading... Um, some prop bets for prize picks and match predictions, exact match predictions, I will put in my Patreon website. As you can see on the screen, that's patreon.com slash DFS underscore Chan. If you are interested or if you have any questions, um, please reach out to me or go check it out. Um, I have been doing decent. So yeah, let me know if you um, are interested. Otherwise, yeah, um, good luck out there. Um, this spot, this video has been sponsored by, by True DFS. So go check out True DFS as well. Um, yeah, good luck out there. And hopefully we see each other at the top of the leaderboard. Have a good one. Bye bye.